In this video, we'll look at how to get started using the DevExpress Blazor button. This component allows you to add a button to your project, handle its click, and customize button content and appearance. I've already created a Blazor application that's configured to use DevExpress components. The DX button component does not support static render mode, so I enable interactivity on this page. I add a DX button to the page and use the text property to specify the button's text. Then I add a click event handler that invokes the browser's alert dialog. Let's take a look at this in the browser. The newly created button has default render style. When I click the button, the browser displays a message with the specified text. I want to open a web page on a button click. For this purpose, I specify the navigate URL property and insert the link that leads to the Blazor button demos. I also update the button's click event handler. Let's see how it works. When I click my button, the browser displays the alert dialog first and then navigates to the demos page. As you can see, the browser opens the target link in the same tab. Now I want to disable my button. I set the enabled property to false. Disabled buttons are transparent and do not respond to mouse clicks. Now I'm going to configure button appearance. The DevExpress Blazor button component supports multiple render styles. To define render styles, use render style and render style mode properties. I add two more buttons to the page. For one button, I set render style to danger and render style mode to outline. For another button, I use the link style and contain style mode. I also add default property values to my first button. Here you can see three buttons with different styles. I want to add icons to my buttons. I've already created CSS classes with custom rules for icons, and I assign those classes to icon CSS class properties. Additionally, I specify the icon position property. Let's see the result. My buttons have both text and icons. To display icons without text, leave the text property unspecified. I want to customize my first button to create a like counter. First, I specify button properties to change the default button content. Then I use the context parameter to add custom content to my button. And here is my customized button that imitates a like counter. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified anytime we release new content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.